Hi, uh, my name is Nilek Choudhury. I am a software engineer at Microsoft. Uh, I actively contribute uh, to uh, Kubernetes, specifically in Sigoth and uh, Sig API machinery area. Uh, I'm also the maintainer of uh, one of the maintainers of a uh, uh, few Sigoth sub projects like uh, Secret Store CSI driver and Secret Store sync controller. So uh, before getting into the meaning of RV part, uh, I really wanted to talk about uh, storage version migrator. Uh, storage version migrator uh, is an alpha API that we released uh, in Kubernetes 1.30. Uh, and you will uh, uh, get to know why I'm talking about it in a second. But uh, what it essentially does is it will try to migrate uh, any Kubernetes resource to its desired uh, storage state versions. Uh, what, what does that mean, right? So for example, consider uh, uh, you have a CRD uh, with the version V1, V1 beta 1. And uh, you have set that as your serving version and storage version. So any CRs that you will create will be stored uh, with that version in its city. Uh, now consider a scenario where you have like the newer version. So let's say V1 beta 2. Uh, although you have not deprecated V1 beta 1 yet, uh, you have set V1 beta 2 as your storage version and both beta 1 and beta 2 as your serving version. Uh, so far, it will be good. Like the the CRs that will get the newer CRs that will get created will be stored as V1 beta 2. But uh, when you try to get the CRs, uh, uh, either like the, those created with V1 beta 1 or V1 beta 2, uh, you will be able to get it. But the moment you deprecate V1 beta 1, that's when the problem starts. Uh, the reason for that is like once you deprecate, let's say V1 beta 1, and if you try to get the CRs that were created using that uh, version, API server will not know what to do with that request. So it will just error out because it simply doesn't uh, aware of the V1 beta 1 uh, version at that point in time. And this is where storage version migrator comes in. Like you would migrate all the resources that were created using V1 beta 1. Uh, to v1 beta 2 and uh, then deprecate your v1 beta 1 version so this is this is like the quick uh, summary uh, of what storage version migrator does and uh, uh, the reason i bring this uh, bring this up is with uh, the the way we have implemented the svm uh, uh, the controller of SVM uh, essentially does the job of the migration. Uh, and this controller is part of Kube Controller Manager. Uh, the, 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 the actual way it does the conversion or the migration is uh, it, it uses garbage collection cache as its uh, source uh, or source of truth uh, to know all the uh, resources that are present in the Kubernetes cluster. Uh, and as with every cache, we would want to know whether the cache is updated or not. And the way we do that is we compare the uh, resource version of an empty list at that point in time with the resource version of the garbage collection cache. And we make sure that garbage collection cache is up to date uh, before we start running the migration. And this is where, and this is the critical part basically, because resource version is an OPEX string in API server. Uh, it looks like an integer, but nowhere we have said that, that it is an integer. And uh, with this change, when we'll move this to beta and essentially uh, then to GA, uh, we will essentially be codifying the schema of uh, RV, meaning we'll be telling that, hey, RV is going to be the uh, integer henceforth. And uh, th this is where uh, we wanted to raise the awareness in the community. Uh, because there might be other uh, storage solutions which are not using HCD, for example, and using some other storage uh, solutions uh, to run their Kubernetes uh, uh, clusters. So uh, we want to make sure that everybody is aware of this upcoming change. Uh, we would want to uh, hear your feedback. If you have any concerns, we would want to know about them. So feel free to uh, please reach out to us. Uh, you can reach out to us on uh, uh, API Machinery Slack channel. Or we also have like a dedicated uh, Slack channel for this called API Machinery Storage Version Dev. So be aware of this thing, just keep an eye on it and uh, let us know what you think about it. Thank you.